Hello to Ramallah from Vienna. My name is Klaus Latziker. I'm a physician and musician working in Vienna as a physician at the Vienna Medical University and as a freelance musician. Thank you, Lena Leyla, director of the Barenboim site for music Palestine for inviting me to contribute to your project. Just to describe what I'm doing, as a physician, I do integrate the music into the treatment of my clients in the field of critical care, emergency care, palliative care, oncology, since many years. We have a lot of scientific collaborations also with the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra and with American universities. So the more I'm happy now to cooperate with Barenboim Side for Music Palestine. As a musician, I founded the festival St. Floriana Bruckner Tage at the very home of Anton Bruckner, where the FIMO will be our honored guest in August 2021 to be the opening concert in presence of all international music lovers and experts in St. Florian. Actually, in my daily life, I do combine my two studies, my study of medicine and my study of conducting, in my work. And we give music to the patients. One of the main aims of giving music to the patients, especially in critical care, is to take them out from anxiety, which means we want to influence their heartbeat, to calm down. This is a phenomenon I want to teach you. It's called entrainment, which means that two rhythms entrain each other. In this case, the rhythm of the music and the rhythm of the heart, because, you know, if you are anxious, you have an accelerated heartbeat and this can be influenced by playing music or listening to music. Let's go now directly into the music. I give to you one of the, I think, most famous pieces in the world, the air from Bach. And music is biology. So the pulse of the air is biology and if you do it in a way that relieves you from anxiety you can capture the patient and lead him out from anxiety let's go to the composition because i want to tell you some secrets about heartbeat it starts with a down going then comes in the heartbeat Now we go to advanced medicine because there is a fascinating phenomenon. It's called heart rate variability. This is a kind of irregularity which is, which is essential for life, which means every inspiration your heartbeat is accelerating a little bit and every expiration is decelerating a little bit. So it's not bam, bam, but it's bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. And Bach, who was born in 1650, had known this. So Bach didn't do like that. But he filled in, in the bass, he filled in steps and leaps. So a leap is... And the step is... If I combine the leap and the step... And then you just put the air, you know, the melody in the right hand and you can literally influence people by the body because you can entrain your clients and you can invite clients to join the music you make 
for the audience. feel a sensation, some kind of sensation, not only by your ears or maybe by your eyes, but by the hugest, largest organ we have, with the greatest diameter, with the greatest surface, surface which is the skin, because music can be perceived by the skin. This is why we use the term touch not only the human touch, but also the musical touch. So this is why music can touch us. As I know from Lena, every one of you has it's his favorite piece. I also do have my favorite pieces and they literally are touching us. Sometimes you listen to music and you are not touched. Sometimes you are swept away by the music and you are touched by your emotions, by your skin, by your ear. We can measure all those phenomena. Many of you have seen crime novels, of course, and you know there's the so-called lie detector. And of course, the detective say, are you lying? And you can measure the moisture of the skin, you can measure the skin resistance. And of course, skilled criminals, they can lie perfectly. So. You can measure, you can also measure by heart rate variability, what I've already explained to you. You can measure very precise, yet you can not explain it. So a precise measurement is the absolutely prerequisite to knowledge, yet it can not completely explain the mystery. You know, some mysteries even lose their magic if they are explained completely. So the magic lies in the unknown, in the unexplained. Or as Simon Rettel has sometimes stated in his, his biography when he conducted Beethoven, I'm still confused, but always on a higher level. So this means Music is perceived, so it mean, this means it's concrete, it's not abstract, because all your organs react to music. We know about the turmoils of life. I know what's going on in Palestine. I know your reality and I want to share it with you and I want to contribute to some coping ways so, as you have perceived, music is as concrete as life is. This means music can describe life. It maybe cannot explain life, but it can mirror life, it can describe reality, which means 
that music has the power to counteract with reality, with the good and the bad flip sides of the coin of the reality. So this means if you are making music, you are concrete. So music is your power to encounter life and to modify life, your life and the life of those you love. So this is about practicing. Practicing means to be prepared. Prepared in sports, prepared to be versatile in football, prepared to the spontaneous actions in life. And practice, of course, means that you master something, as some tiny little tricks I learned in my childhood. Practicing means repeating something to get familiar with it, to do it in a very effective way so that, so that you like the way you are doing your tricks. Practicing music means to become familiar with music, to become friends with music. Practice is not only a duty. Practicing is a way to yourself, into the inner game of yourself. Practicing and repeating teaches you to have patience with yourself. And if you are patient with yourself, you gain patience with other people. Practicing means that you are not committing crimes or anticipating sins. Practicing is just becoming familiar. Of course, practicing is imagination. If you have the feeling you practice for a contest, if you have the bad feelings and you see the audience laugh and some of the jury laugh at you, you have the bad image. If you practice the optimism, if you practice the success, if to practice the skill, you practice a perspective into the bright side of life. And let's take the worst case. During practice, you play one note which has not been written into the score by the composer. So the walls don't tumble down. This means every so-called wrong note or mistake is a source of learning. So this means every mistake gives you a new way to reframe your way of thinking. So I give you now an advice and practice. Don't repeat immediately. Make a pause, think about it, think about the reasons and then forgive yourself and smile and do the whole thing again. As I practice in my youth the football tricks, I'm very proud they worked out today. We are following your fascinating activities, of course, in Europe, on Facebook. I've seen every of your concerts. I've shared, this, shared it with all my Facebook friends. I really admire what you do. So I'm looking forward to your feedback on the stories I have told you. We physicians call this a questionnaire. So you will receive a questionnaire and I would be very delighted if you fill in your impressions, your thoughts, then it will be forwarded to me and every one of you will get my personal feedback and I'm very much looking forward to collaborate with, with each of you in person and I'm definitely sure we will see each other very soon in Palestine. After our 
scientific and musical communication, I have prepared a little reward for every one of you, a stethoscope, so that you will be able to listen to your heart and to the heart beats of the music.